Probably this is the biggest declutter I've done in my life, so I'm still having mixed feelings. And I'm a little bit nervous. I still love this shot. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, this decluttering thing, mostly I just think it's me coming here saying I like it. Oh my goodness, what the hell am I doing? Hey, so this 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 is the decluttered bit. Let me show you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are tuning in for the first time, hello, my name is Kimi. I'm a Tanzanian YouTuber. I have a very interesting video and I'm very excited. It's a video that I've been planning and looking forward to doing it for over a month. So the fact that I'm seated down doing it, I am very happy and excited with myself. I'm I'm not gonna chat a lot because I have a feeling it's gonna be a long ass video. In case it's not obvious, this is a declutter with me video. I've done two major declutter, actually that's a lie. I've done one major declutter in my life and that was in 2016 where I went through my closet and took everything that was colored. And that's when black, white and gray Kimi was born. I wanna take you guys through my thought process and probably this video is gonna be helpful for somebody else. So before going into my closet declutter, I went through a mindset. So I decided on the color palette and my Style. Over the course of time, my style hasn't changed necessarily. I've been consistently the same person. My style, I already know what I like. I already know what flatters my body type. I know what gives me a certain confidence and I know what I will never be caught dead or touch in with a 10th foot pole. Never. I have clothes from 2015 when I was in uni. Even though they're in my color palette, I just don't see myself wearing them at all because I'm a cloth hoarder to a point. And then some had sentimental value, but at this point, I'm just like, bruh, no. So I'm gonna go into my closet, take everything in category. So I'll start maybe with pants, then shirts, then jackets, sweaters, the whole thing. Go through the thing, try them one by one, see how they fit, see how they make me feel, see the quality, if it's gonna hold up for the next three years. If it doesn't, it, it has to go. That's the whole thing. The whole closet declutter is gonna go into four pieces. Things that I'm keeping, things that I'm donating, and then I'll have a maybe pile. The maybe pile will have a second look onto how I'm feeling. So clothes that I love but I haven't worn in the past year and I don't see myself wearing them but I like them, I'm gonna go into the maybe pile. I'll find out why I haven't worn. If they don't serve me the joy or they don't bring me the joy that I wanted, they're going into the donate pile. Then I'll have the alteration pile. Clothes that are nice, that are fitted, but I always keep saying, I'll buy this, it's big, but I'm gonna like, you know, get it tailored or get it fitted. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do that over the week. That's the timeline I'm giving myself. Today's a Sunday. So come next Saturday, those clothes are not altered. They are going back into the donate pile. And I'm gonna be super strict and like mm, 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 with myself. That's the mindset. And then I also have a mood board of what I want my closet to look like. I've gone into Pinterest planned and pinned things that I want or things that I see myself gravitating a lot to. And from the look of it, things that I've been gravitating a lot towards are like classic monochromatic silhouettes kind of looks. So structured pieces, that's what I'm going for. Also, I'm a bit dolled up. If it's not obvious, I was gonna do this bare, let's have a chill Sunday moment and let's do this. But I just thought I would get my shit together, tie my hair and stuff so that when I try the clothes, I won't have the excuse of saying, uh, oh, I will look better because I have makeup, you know? I have that. So if I don't look good right now, I won't look good later. That's the plan. Let me show you guys the closet first and the plan of what I have in mind and then let's get into the wardrobe and get this show on the road. Cue intro and <laughs> let's get this party started. Hey guys, it's gonna be a bit echoey and I apologize for that, but this is where the clothes are gonna come in. I have all this space to hang clothes in and then I have this chest of drawers to like fill in clothes in there if I want to. And then I also have this bit for anything that's longer. And then back here I also have these floating shelves and then these floating shelves can take up to 30 pairs of shoes. So this is going to be my walk-in closet but let me show you my other bedroom closet that has all the clothes and that's where all the sorting is going to be happening. Let's go to the bedroom. So back here this is my side of the closet and it looks 
like that these are all the clothes that i have um wait that's a lie there's a bit more in the laundry room i will also go take those as i declutter but there's some that i haven't worn in a year or a year and a half and i don't know why for the love of me i'm still holding so those will be the first ones out these are all my official pants <laughs> like honey i wear like three trousers to work i have like the black one that i love and the other black one that's high-waisted and the blue one that's always on rotation during laundry moments i don't wear all of this <laughs> and then on this side these are all my jeans except i wear three jeans as well so make it make sense i know this is not the most flattering angle but i just want you guys to see the problem that i have been dealing with like I've seen people do declutter videos and they have like a few bits and they're like, yeah, these are my clothes and I need to declutter. And I'm like, honey, no, no, you don't. You need all those clothes. But anyways, it's currently 14, 12. I reckon this is going to take me more than six hours. It's not going to be a six hours video, but I'm going to turn on the AC, start taking these things down over here and get this party started. the mirror over there so that i can start trying out the outfit cue in the time lapse of me trying out clothes and then showing you how it fits so enjoy the time lapse of me trying out shit Um, clearly we're gonna keep this I've had it since 2014 I think and I mean some things are just timeless and this is one of those things um, we're keeping this this fits perfectly it was a thrifted piece and it has oh god <laughs> I thought it was money but we are keeping this. I mean, look at that fit. I love this. I'm also keeping this. So this has this open structure stitches. And this is just like a plain classic one. And then it might be a bit louder. The AC is on and please just, just work with it. Cause I'm not sacrificing heat for whatever whatever this is. Uh, I'm conflicted. This one is, is tearing up a bit. I've worn it also so much, so. This is a maybe pile. Well, this is a no. I'm not sure. This feels like it's fashion for, but I've never worn. But looking at the camera, it looks good. Cause I love the halter collar situation happening. It's gonna go in the in the maybe pile. Uh, this is staying, obviously. Uh, this is staying. Love it, love this balloon sleeve. Love the color, love the fit, love everything about it. Hey! Um, uh, this is staying. <laughs> I can throw it as a cup. It can be a beach cover. I don't know why I'll have a black beach cover, but I do. It can also go over fits like this and it is a dress and it can also be a shirt so it's a win and it's staying i like it <laughs> yeah this decluttering thing mostly i just think it's me coming here saying i like it but this fits and i can dress it up or down casual it up so in the color palette mwah, 
Chef kiss. <laughs> this is staying. <laughs> yeah, she's staying. I don't know why I call this the clutch ring. I should have just called this a try haul because it's staying. <laughs> There's a place for this one. It's staying. I freaking love this casual blazer. It's from Zara. Clearly it's staying. Yeah, it's staying. I mean, I don't wear this often. Haven't worn it this whole year. But there's a place where you need one statement to red blazer. This is it. it is probably an hour later since i started doing the try on of, and i've already decided what is staying what's it's leaving i'll show you guys real quick the pile and how it's looking let me oh and it's almost golden hour where i am at with the progress so far i think i've done a better job at decluttering let's see so this is the pile that's staying it's it's still much i wouldn't say that i've gone all the minimalistic route and then that's the pile that's going close to six something I'm losing daylight and I also don't want to do this through the whole night because then I will rush the process given that today is Sunday I'm, I've just done the shirts the jackets and the jeans I am very heartbroken with the jeans part I will show you how much I was able to keep and how much has to go away I'm at a place where I'm like it doesn't fit it doesn't fit so these are the only pairs of jeans that I'm able to keep I have like the light blue one a black one a gray this mom jeans there's that one that that it's all jeans like they all don't fit I'm hot and disappointed and then these are the leggings apart from these two sweatshirts these are my official pants Given that I'm losing daylight, I'm just going to take the donate pile, pile it up together and then I'm starting to put everything in the hanger, have them ready to go. So it's not going to be a lot of work because I already have an idea of what needs to happen. So this is just going to be a montage of me doing that. Hey guys, welcome back to the next weekend. I know for you guys it just seems like the next second, but it's been a week in between since I started filming this video and I have made tremendous progress. So over the week, my cleaning lady came in had everything sorted and organized. I still have the donate pile in the other room. She did help me iron up all the clothes that was staying with me, which is a godsend. Dressing up this week has been a joy because I'll want to wear something and I'll think, oh God, it needs ironing, but it was ironed. I'm crossing fingers. I get to be done within the next three hours. So let's just, let's just get this video rolling. I don't want to ramble so much. So from now and on, it's just going to be a montage. Mm -hmm.
I have done. Those I'm keeping. Back there, I'm donating. I'm gonna jump into dresses, which I know most of them are going away, but it's gonna be fun to see what I have in the closet. I mean, obviously, I won't be wearing the black belt. I have some new belts coming in, like I have a brown one, I have a nude one. Probably they'll match through more. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'm not entirely excited about the sleeve part. Or the, there's something about it that I don't like 100%. So I'm going to keep this in the maybe. Probably somebody's watching this and they're like, Kim, keep it. But here's the news flash. The moment you're watching it and it's in the donut pile, it's gone. So let's try another one. This is another one. I'm not sure. It's very shifty like maybe a belt let's let's try a belt this is too much work this i like black but this this needs a bigger person so no um this is the other one it looks like so see it rides up and I've worn it one time and see, it's already here. So this is a no. I just don't like how it rides me here. I like the back though. But I don't know, I'm not this girly girl. There's like baby girl dress and there's like girly girly dressy dressy girl. This is her. I like the back mostly. I just don't get I feel like there's a girl out there who will appreciate this and probably somebody's screaming, keep it. I kind of want to, but I'm not this girl. This is way too girl. <laughs> I am girly, but I don't think I am this girly. Plus I can't bend over, ever. If I drop anything, phone, card, keys, it's staying on the floor forever because I can't bend. I don't think we're keeping her, I'm sorry. But it was fun dressing up though. So this one I like the lining is like here and then you can see through it's giving you leg action it's giving you back and then it's free like it doesn't ride up see it doesn't I like this this is kind of what I wanted the green dress to do but better so this is staying and I've never won this this is me Tiny dresses is me. If a dress is tiny and slim fitting, that's me. That's me in a dress. I think this is working. It's a knitted LBD. It's working. It's sitting all the points. Up covered, legs out. I can do it with heels. I can do it with sneakers. Uh, I want to say it was this five years ago. It still fits. But five years ago, me was skinny because this dress was taken down. I was about to let it go, but I see it still fits. It's hard at walking because it's still a bit tight around the bosom, but I can take uh, the taking in and see if it still fits. So here's the take of how it looks right now. Kapow! <laughs> still got it! What was the point? But I still got it. Dee, dee, dee. So I have undone it. It's more breathable taken back around here and then the arms I shouldn't have done them they look oh, there's a little bit of space around here and I want it to be snug there and here so it's gonna be around that situation when you give me that rich anti vibe like I got my shit together this this is the dress you bring I don't believe it. it's been five years and I my style exact same thing as it was okay maybe not exact same thing but it's still relevant five years later um, those are the dresses that are staying those are the shirts that are staying and around there that's all the things that i'm donating away
guys have you ever done something and then you feel like a weight has been lifted off your body because that's what I, I'm dealing with like there's some bugs up there if you guys can see there's some bugs up there that I need to like declutter and then I'm left with shoes shoes is a problem but I hate all the shoes that I have or I have worn them to death so I'm gonna really be critical and really hard on myself on the kind of shoes that are gonna stay and then I'll show you what's actually been decluttered I, I think you'll be proud of me I'm, I'm proud of myself but I think you need to be proud of me too so let's let me take this bit down first works it just needs to be treated so maybe she can stay this still works it just needs to be washed i hope you're ready to see <laughs> the shoe box so give me a second let me drag it shoes this is a very closed up space it might get echoey but i'm sorry so you guys need to be on this side i need to be on this side and then i can run through the shoes i'm keeping basically arranged all the shoes that I own currently on the floor I have 42 pairs of shoes I have shoes that I know for sure I'm not gonna wear so I'll start decluttering those the ones that I think I would wear are going up there and then we'll see what stays on the floor so and and honestly honestly I feel such a relief with the fact that I can go in my closet and find something relatively what I want to wear for the day on the shoe department I think I went insanely ham I'm keeping less than I actually have mind you I did say my goal was to declutter not to become a minimalist so those are the shoes that are staying they look good but they're all dirty and raggedy so I'm just gonna leave them here for now as I start checking out everything that I've decluttered so then you guys will see how much I have decluttered so let's let's cue in that part I am I'm nervous honestly I, I'm a little bit nervous now that I'm seeing everything I've decluttered collectively I'm, I'm a tad terrified I feel like it's a lot I feel like there are pieces that I will miss <sighs> oh yeah I'm a hot air and probably this is the biggest declutter I've done in my life so I'm still having mixed feelings and I'm a little bit nervous I've also left a couple of shoes in the bedroom you know <laughs> like I won't wear them but they'll look pretty on the shelf you know I don't know Ugh. yeah let me show you let me show you where I'm at I'm terrified and this is this is this is a lot like I still love the shots and oh my goodness what the hell am I doing oh, okay so this 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 is the decluttered bed let me show you that's that's everything I've decluttered about 25 pairs of shoes some bags and probably somebody's closet must be decluttered, so that's that.
a good text him back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came me way too strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radar now. Found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless can't get enough. I've lost you, but I need you, and you're off my radar now. Hey guys, it is so many hours later. Currently it's 18.30. We probably started this around 9. So I've spent the most part of today organizing, sorting, cleaning, and I am glad to say I am done. I still have a bit of separation anxiety going on, but I am so done. And I'm glad that I am tired right now, meaning that I won't be able to go back and like go through the clothes and whatnot and bringing them back here. How I'm gonna organize the closet, probably I'll do like a closet tour someday in the future. I'm gonna go jump into the shower. I don't think I'm gonna cook. Probably I'm gonna order some food. I'm feeling burger and then have a glass of wine and just chill. Thank you so much for following my journey. I hope you did enjoy or you're also motivated enough to do your own closet plugin, declutter the whole thing. Do go through the process. Always feel free to DM me at Kimi lately. I would like to see your process, your journey, and let me know how easy or harder it is for you. Till next time, I will love and leave you and I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't subscribed and you have watched till the end, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see all of your beautiful faces on the next one. Bye!